so here she is. This is our new motor for our 20 foot Roballo, guys. So most, I already know what most of you guys are gonna say, oh, it's a Ficked, it's a Evinrude, you know, old Evinrude, blah, blah, blah. Yes, they do have their problems. Every motor has their problems. You know, you had the HPDIs, you had the Opti's, you had everything had its own problem. But I ended up getting this motor for 500 bucks with all the rigging, controls, oil tank, everything except for the OMC control cables. So it is a 175 Evinrude, 25 inch shaft with a uh, stainless steel prop right there. So what we're gonna go ahead and start to do is uh, rig it up. So if you guys have been following along with this series, you guys have seen, we got the tank all situated, we got the, ho the fuel lines in, we got the uh, console back down, leaning post in. So now all that really has to happen, I mean the fun stuff is go ahead and wiring everything up and um, you know, bringing the controls and then we'll get onto the cosmetic stuff. So going ahead and installing the motor, guys, this was actually my first time, well, not first, but you know, first time I guess powering a, a you know, a bigger motor on a boat and it was, it was quite an adjustment. You know, we kind of had to make sure the holes lined up and we did go ahead and seal the screws. I used a, uh, just regular silicone. Uh, it, it wasn't silicone. It was sort of like a 4200, but it was made by a company called Boat Life. And as you guys could tell right here is we're going ahead and putting on a uh, transom support bracket. I highly recommend you guys use these on your boats. Pretty much every boat has one nowadays. Just evens out the weight and it's honestly great. So here's our center console layout guys and it's gonna have to get a little bit rearranged. So right here's where the controls are gonna go. I just have it taped up right now. Right here's where the old steering wheel went. But with the leaning post, you don't really have too much room right here and I don't really like it. I mean. I could keep it. I, I might. I honestly, I might because it's not too terrible. But um, I might keep the string wheel here. We're probably gonna have our gauges up here. We're gonna have our Garmin up there. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and kind of rearrange our layout here on the center console and probably give it a little bit of a paint job. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So it might actually clean up pretty nice. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, put the control box in and start to rig everything to the motor as far as the fuel water separators all the harnesses all that good stuff So here's my bird's nest of a uh, wiring harness. So I have the uh, official Evinrude RPM gauge that'll tell me if I have oil, if it's running hot, if I got a check engine or low oil, which is kind of nice. Um, it'll read from the uh, oil tank that's gonna go back there. Um, I got my little alarm right here. Then I got my ignition. So this is pretty much just the wiring harness that's gonna go all the way back to the motor. Yeah, so all we have to do is pretty much rig it up, rig it through the boat, hook all the right things up, you know, officially mount it in the actual center console. So that's gonna be the fun part is kind of making space for all this and getting it as organized as possible. So first off guys, we have our ignition. So we'll plug that into ignition. We'll hold off on that for now because we don't have the motor set up and everything else. And I'm not, I'm, I don't have the exact spot where my ignition panel is gonna go. So we'll hold off. Then we have our, here's our trim and tilt. So here's how you guys tell this. Um, I'm not just kind of pulling out of my ass. You have a green wire, which means uh, trim down. You got blue for up and red for power on. So we're, that this plug goes right here into the control box. So we'll kind of get our harness inside. And once I'm all done with rigging, guys, of course, we'll go ahead and organize our wires and stuff like that. I'm not going to leave it like a giant bird, bird's nest. Well, plugging up the wiring harness, guys, kind of was a nightmare. Uh, and, and getting this in, I, I didn't really put it in the video, but it was a pain. 
Anyway, guys, got all this plugged in, and we're going to be rocking and rolling. So here's the inside of the motor. It actually looks pretty clean. So we got all of our connections for our center console hooked up. The only thing we don't have hooked up is our oil pump that's over there. But we'll worry about that later. But all in all, she's pretty clean, guys. So I got our uh, battery connections on. We got our positive, got our ground. Um, so now here comes the pump part. So we have to get the harness that goes to the motor all the way over here. And I'm also going to snake the battery cables on it at the same time. So it's just one, hopefully one straight clean shot to the center console. Because I'm going to put my battery in the center console where it really should be. Because before it was in there. So, I hope this goes to plan. So here's what I meant by snaking. So we're going to tape all our battery cables, our harness together. And we're going to shove it through the rigging hole all the way out. And we'll have everything in one shot. So fingers crossed it works, but... I'm just gonna take some blue painter's tape, tape it all together, and pray to God that it goes smoothly, but <laughs> chances are it won't, boys. Oh guys, here goes nothing. I got all my Deutsch connectors kind of taped off, got it snaked up. So fingers crossed this works. So Usually when you're rigging a boat, this is probably the easiest way to do it, but the easier way to do it is if you already have pre-existing cables in there and kind of tape that to that and then feed the new ones through. But unfortunately, I didn't have a motor on here before, so this is the way we're gonna have to be able to do it, which sucks, but let's see if, how it goes. So, get this giant mess out of the way. Put our cables in here. Start feeding it and hopefully we'll be able to get it by the uh, console. getting power but our trim from our controls doesn't work which sucks okay let's see if our key on button works all right let's see her start up at a new location got our motor on and now it's time for the fun part so we're gonna go ahead and do some hydraulic steering today and let me show you what i got let me show you guys what i got i got a hydraulic steering kit called vivor by a brand called vivor so most times what people go with is sea star um that's pretty much the most common one but your boy doesn't have 1400 dollars to spare for hydraulic steering so i was doing a little bit of research and i will show you guys um in a second here why i went with vivor because it is literally the same exact thing as a c-star and has the same exact part numbers so we got our cylinder helm steering wheel and all our hardware for 300 bucks um and it actually is it, it seems like it's pretty good good quality and i've watched some reviews online and so far no complaints so unfortunately it didn't come with hydraulic lines or steering fluids so we got our c-star uh, steering fluid c-star lines um but just not the helm and the uh, cylinder. So today we're gonna go ahead and hook everything up and um, get it going. So here's this uh, rod that's gonna go through the actual bracket on the motor. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide this through. All right, and this is for our steering cylinder to connect to. So all right, we got that taken care of. Your vibe always have your back. We like all the same tracks. Listen 
Alrighty guys, so we got our steering ram on. I know some of you guys are gonna comment down below and like this is on top. Maybe it's, I've always seen it on the bottom. Well guys, I've always seen it on the top. I've seen it on the bottom. I, I don't know. It doesn't really make a difference, I guess. I mean, it's just, it's on there. It ain't going nowhere. So we got our ram all hooked up. Everything's looking good. All tightened down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna, I'm gonna wait to do the side skirts for now because we still gotta do my control cables and everything else. So now is the fun part. We gotta go from the center console and snake our hydraulic lines and our control cables all the way back here. So that ought to be fun. Let's, let, let, yeah. oh boy. So you guys have seen what uh, hydraulic lines I've went with and I went with the C-Star ones. Didn't go with the uh, the C-Star um, you know, unit and everything else, but I did go with the C-Star hydraulic lines. I've got two 16 footers here. So 16 should be more than enough. I'm going for my center console that way down to the side of the boat and that way 16 should be plenty um so let me show you guys the lines real quick and then i will show you guys how i'm gonna go ahead and get them on through so here's our hydraulic lines brand new fresh out of the box and so this is the part i hate the most is <laughs> rigging it through the boat because it could just kind of it gets stuck on every single thing so um, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and tape them together and, um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and unwrap our lines. We're going to go ahead and do it like this, tape it and then feed it through the boat. So I got my electrical tape right here and we're just going to go ahead and tape them together and it's called snaking. Just like that guys our snake is through let's go there we are there's our snake boys cool caps have to come off so i marked red on here just in case i'm gonna do red right just because uh sounds cool um so we're gonna put red on the right fitting and we're gonna put green on the left and uh yeah it's coming together guys obviously we're gonna do a lot of cable management because it is a you got it all on time from loving your vibe always have your back we like all the same tracks listen all night in the sheets all black said i'm falling fast don't remember life before you that's fast i feel good you look great i like you i can't wait our first time our first day you're so fine i'm so late you sip wine i drink straight Catch me if I fall. Get that This right here is where the screws are going to go through. It's going to be through bolted, so we're going to have a backing plate. So we're going to go ahead and mark some sharpie on them. Got our fittings on. Now it's time to go ahead and put the helm in. So slide it in. Now it's time for the backing plate. Well, we got our Vivor uh, hydraulic helm locked in. It ain't going nowhere. Got the backing plate on, got the, the bolts on, everything else, got the lock nuts. So that thing is nice and sturdy. So let me go ahead and show you guys the setup. So 
Over here, you guys can see we got our backing plates, lock nuts on. Got our, both of our hydraulic lines, and let me show you guys. My hydraulic line, lines are a little long. Um, I went like an extra foot or two just to be safe. Um, so what I ended up doing is I ended up rigging them down here, over to the side, tie wrapped them there. And look how nice and neat we got this. Tie wrap, tie wrap, tie wrap, all the way down. So the center console is, is a work in progress, guys. Obviously with the harness all over the place, it kind of looks weird, but as we do our wiring and our rigging, I'm gonna make sure all this is nice and neat because uh, I'm kind of like a snob like that now. So uh, work in progress, just want to show you guys the hydraulic lines, but um, now it's time to go ahead and uh, fill her up, see how she works. So here's the steering wheel that came with the kit, guys. Obviously, you know me, this ain't gonna stay on there. Um, I'll pop up a picture on screen of the steering wheel I bought. Um, as you guys can tell, I got that one with the nice you know, steering knob. It's got the grips on the back, um, stainless steel. So I'm only using this one today, guys, just so we can go ahead and um, get the fluid in um, to the system and get it all going. So rigging this up, we're gonna go ahead and take this little tape off. Now it's very important you guys don't lose this little piece here. This is the key. So it's kind of hard to tell. This is the key right here that makes sure the wheel actually locks into place. So make sure not to lose that. Slide our wheel on. Just gonna go ahead and let it fill up the helm. Now it's time to go ahead and put our control cables through. And so the ones I'm gonna go ahead and go with are these Dometic control cables. Um, and I'm going with 16 footers, as you guys can tell. So one thing with Evinrude is of course, they have their own special control cables. Um, and I'll show you what makes them so special. But um, yeah, anyway, I got these on eBay for about like 50 bucks a pop. Got two control cables. So now we just gotta go ahead and snake them through that little rigging area all the way to the back of the boat and then hook it up to the motor. So let's get to it. And just like that, we got our control cables. This huge mess we got going on. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I took a lot of time editing this one, so I hope it was a good video. But um, anyway, guys, we're making progress on this boat, and that's the most important thing. So we, you know got all of our fiberglass fixed we got our motor rigged up we're making the right steps so in the next video guys i'm super pumped for you guys to see it it's going to be a really cool one and um she's getting there boy she's getting there Roballo's is starting to clean up a little bit you know so i'm excited so let me know guys down in the comments what you guys think of this boat let me know what you guys would like to see from me um and you know let me know your honest opinion um, I do respond to all the comments. It means a lot you guys take your time to comment on my videos So thank you guys so much and um, also please leave a like on it so more people can see it and let me know you enjoyed it And also I'm gonna pop up my Instagram here on screen um, Go ahead and follow me feel free to DM me I respond to all DMS and you guys can get a little bit of behind the scenes on my Instagram I kind of post a few cool little things over there every once in a while, you know, so um, but Yeah, so anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video um, it's been your boy. Please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, I will see you in the next one. It's been your boy. And I'm out.